Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's version of You Choose, I Draw video contest, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Rodan versus King Ghidorah flying in the air. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Ghidorah versus Rodan, we're going to begin in the middle of our paper. Now this is going to be a big drawing and it's going to be hard to fit everything on this little piece of paper. So I'm going to draw things just a little bit smaller to kind of make sure we can fit everything in here. So one of the first things we want to do is to begin with Ghidorah's head. So I'm going to start with one of them right here and we're just going to begin by making a little tiny check mark shape. Now, after we make that little check mark shape, we're going to draw a little line. It's going to go over and then up to make the eye. Next, we're just going to draw a little line. It's going to go up and it's going to come up in an angle like this for the eyebrow. Starting here, we're going to make a line. It's going to come out for the nose. And we're going to draw a little line. It's going to go up and down. Next, we're going to make a line that's going to come down. Then we're going to draw a line that's going to come back, and it's going to go over like this. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down, and it's going to go out here. Then we're going to make a little line that's going to go down and up for the bottom of the chin. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to go over and then up to make the jaw. And then we want to put a couple spikes here. So we'll make a line that goes out and then in. We'll make another one that's going to go out and then in. And one more that goes out and that's going to come back. Next, starting here, we'll draw a little line that comes down. And then we'll just add some teeth in here on the top and we'll put some on the bottom too. Now, starting up here, I'm going to make a couple little points for the top of this head. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come out. It's going to go up to a point, and it's going to come back for one of his big horns. Next, we're going to draw a little line that's going to curve in here for the nose. And we'll add a couple little lines right around the eye. Now, starting up here a little bit above this head, we're going to be making the next little Ghidorah head. So I'm going to start right here, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to begin by drawing a little check mark shape for the top of the eye. I'm going to draw a little line that goes over and then up. Then we'll make a little line that's going to go up and over for the eyebrow. Next, we're going to make a little line that comes down and a little bump up here for the nose. We're going to draw a little line that comes down. And then we're going to draw a line that's going to come back and it's going to go down like this. Next, I'll make a line that's going to come down. Then we're going to put a little line that goes down and up for the chin. Make a little line that goes over and that's going to come up for the jaw. And I'm going to add a few little points on here for some of the spikes. Up here at the top, we'll add a couple little points. And right here, we're going to make a long line. It's going to come up to a point and then down for the horn. We'll add a little curved line here. Then once again, we're going to put some sharp teeth on the top and on the bottom. With a little curved line here for the nose. And a couple little lines here for the eyes.
Now, starting on this head, I want to draw the neck really quickly. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come up and it's going to come down. Then I'm going to start up here. We're going to make another line. It's going to go up and it's going to come down. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up and we're going to bring it down to here. And we'll start here by the spike and we'll do that same shape. We're just going to go up and bring it down. Now, starting over here, I want to add that last head. We're going to do this one a little bit different. So to draw this one, I'm going to begin by drawing a little line that's going to go down and it's going to come up for a check mark. Then we're going to add another one going the opposite way. I'm going to draw a little line that goes over and up for an eye. And another one goes over and then up. Right here, I'm going to add a little bump for a nostril. And then another one here. Then we're going to draw a little line that goes up and down. And another one up and down above it. Next, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go down. It's going to go over and it's going to come up. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve down a little bit. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to go over and it's going to come up for the mouth. We're going to add some teeth on here. So we'll put some right along the top and some along the bottom and up the side. We'll draw a little curve line here. Next, we'll add a little line that goes out and then in. And we'll make a little line that goes down and over for part of the mouth. We'll add a little line that's going to go down and it's going to come up. Then I'm just going to bring this line up. I'm going to make it out and come back for a point. Then I'll add another one here. And one more right here. I'll make a line that's going to go up and down, and another one's going to go up and down here. Next, I'll make a line that's going to come up to a point and down, and another one up to a point and down. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up. It's going to come to a point, and then we're going to bring it back down to here. Next, we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to go up, we're going to bring it to a point, and we're going to make it come down. That way, it just kind of looks like this head is kind of turned a little bit. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come right to here. Then we're going to jump over it and bring it down here. And then I'll draw a line that comes right to here. It's going to go in between this mouth down to here, and we're going to bring it right to there. Now, once we have the three heads of Ghidorah drawn, then we need to begin on the body. So I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come down. And I'm going to make this line, we're going to come down, and then I'm going to just kind of bring it in a little bit. Then I'm going to draw another little line that comes down. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out, and then it's going to come down like this for the leg. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up. It's going to hook down and come back up here for a claw. I'll do another one here. And one more right here. Make a line that's going to go down and in. And I'll make another one that's going to go down, and then it's going to come up. Now, starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and it's going to curve in. And we'll add another little line right there. And starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down and up to kind of form that leg.
starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down. Then we'll make another line that's going to go up. It's going to come down to a point and then back. We'll draw another one here. And one more right here. We're going to go down and in. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to this foot. We're going to bring it up. Draw another line that comes up, and then a line that's going to come down here. Now, starting up here, we want to try to fit the wing in here. So I'm going to begin right up here, and we're going to make a line that's just going to come up here to a little hooked point, and then we're going to bring it back down here. It's going to get a little bit wider as it comes down. Now, starting here, we're going to make another line that's going to come up here to a point, and we're just going to bring it back down. Right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, up a little bit. It's going to come to a point, and then back. And then another one that's going to come down to a point and come up to here for a wing. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and it's going to curve up. Do another one that's going to go down and curve up. And another one's just going to curve down to here. Now, over here, we're going to put another wing. So I'm going to make a line that's going to come up to a point, come down. We'll make it a little bit bigger as it comes down. Then we'll draw another line that comes out. And it's going to come back here. Right here, we'll take this line and we'll bring it right down. Now, the last thing we want to do is kind of fit in the tail. It's going to be kind of tricky to get it all in here, but we're just going to make it do the best we can. So I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to come up. Then we're just going to add some little spikes on here. So we're just going to make some different little pointy spikes for the end of Ghidorah's tail. Nothing too fancy. We're going to make it come down, and it's going to come back, and we're just going to run it right into the wing. Now, Ghidorah does have that second tail, so we're just going to draw a line that's going to come down. We'll bring it up to here, and we'll make it come out up here. We're going to add some more of these kind of pointy spikes on here. Then we'll just bring it back down. Now, starting over here, we want to begin with Rodan, and we're going to begin with his face first. Now, I'm going to zoom in here just so you guys can see this a little better because we have to draw him kind of small because he's going to be even smaller than Ghidorah. So we want his face to be kind of meeting this one right here. So I'm going to begin by just making a little line that's just going to go down and it's going to come up like that check mark shape. Then we're going to draw a little line that goes over and up for the eye. We're going to make this line that's going to come up and it's going to go back. And then right here, we're going to draw a line that comes up a little bit. And then it's going to go down. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to come back up and down. And we're going to draw a line that's going to come down here. For the bottom of the beak, we'll draw a line that goes down. It's going to come up and down, and it's going to go back up. I'm going to add a couple of little points onto the head. And then we're going to make a line that comes out and back for one of his horns. And we'll draw another one that goes down, and then it's going to come back here. So 
Starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down for the neck. And I'm going to add a couple little curvy lines here for the neck. Now, starting here, we're going to make this neck come down a little farther. And then right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up. I'm going to bring it up here like this. We're going to add a couple of those little claws on here, so make a line that comes up and down. Another one up and down here. And one more that comes up and down here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to go up here. Next, starting here, we're going to bring this line all the way down. Then we're going to bring it right into here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And it's going to come in, and I'll do that a couple more times just to kind of make the chest of Rodan. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to come down. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come down here to start the leg. Make a line that's going to go down and up and down again, and it's going to come back in a point. Make another one that does a point, and we'll make one more right here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to another point here. Then I'm just going to bring this up, and I'm going to bring it down here. Next, let's make a line that's going to curve down to a point, and it's going to come up for the tail. And then we're just going to add some little kind of points on here for some detail. Now, starting here, we want to make the wing of Rodan. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's just going to come down to here. Then we're just going to bring it up to here and we'll connect this. Next, we're just going to bring another little line up here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go up. It's going to jump up here, and we're going to put some points on here for another hand. And a little line that's going to come up to a point and down. Next, we're going to make a little line that's going to come down here. Starting here, we'll draw a line that goes out, and it's going to come down. We'll make a little line that comes down to a point and back. Another one here. And then we're going to make one more right here. It's going to come to a point and up. Okay, so here's our basic drawing of our King Ghidorah versus Rodan. Now we want to come in here and add some details. And this is, video is already getting pretty long, so I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part. So let's begin with Rodan. I'm just going to draw a little curved line here, and I'm just going to put a few little tiny sharp teeth in here. He's going to have a few of them. We'll add a couple little details by the eye. Maybe a couple little details by the face. Put a couple little points over here. Then I'm just going to add a couple little lines kind of right around his arm, a couple little curved lines by the neck, some more little lines by the eyes, make some little broken lines right around where the chest and stomach would be, and a couple more lines over here. We're going to add some curved lines where the claws would be and a couple little extra lines over here. Maybe some broken lines where the knee would be, and a couple more lines over here. I'm going to add a couple lines right by the neck, and some on this part of the mouth. 
I'll add some long broken lines coming out of the wing. And when you do this, you just want to pick up on your pencil or your marker, whatever you're using. And we're just going to draw a few over here. I'll make this line come down here. And I'll add a couple more little broken lines. Maybe a few more along the arms. Now for Ghidorah, we want to put some big spikes along the back of the neck. And we want to do this to each neck here. So we're just going to put some spikes right along the back here. And we're going to do it to this one too. We'll make some kind of long broken lines that come down each neck. We're going to add some quick little curved lines on here just to show a little bit of detail, kind of like a textured scale pattern. So we're just going to add these all along here. Make some little broken lines kind of right around here for some detail. We'll add some curved lines where the claws are going to be and a couple little kind of broken lines right by the knees. We're going to make some kind of long lines coming out of the wings. And a couple more right along here. We'll add some more spikes along the back of Ghidorah. And we'll just kind of put some more of these little lines here, some curved lines onto the horns. Then maybe a couple little lines on the face, just for some details. And maybe a couple more along the tail. We're not going to go too crazy with details because this video is a little bit longer. And there you go. There is your drawing of King Ghidorah versus Rodan flying in the air. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.